I'm sure you're wondering where I am. Probably a language or a cultural institute. No. I'm at the Sharda University, which apart from its excellence in other avenues, is also very famous for its global outlook, where they encourage and students coming from different beliefs, ideas and cultures. Let's go and find out why it stands above the Situated in Greater Noida, Sharada University School of Engineering and Technology started life as Hindustan Institute of Technology in 2005. The institute got its current name in 2009. With over 4,800 students, the institute currently offers 11 B.Tech and 7 M.Tech courses. The institute says its curriculum is based on international methodologies to help make their students global leaders and achievers. Now I'm with the chairman himself of the Sharda University, Mr. Pradeep Kumar Gupta. Pleasure to have you, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, so we'll start with what is the vision of the Sharda University? Sharda UST has been conceptualized with the global ideas because, uh, you know, the, we have been, you know, uh, spending billions of dollars, you know, for our ch sending our children to go you know, outside country. You know, the advantage is what we have seen, you know, when the students go to, you know, American universities or British universities or Canadian universities. Basically, they always find, you know, the different kind of, you know, the, you know, nationality. Right. Maybe, you know, maybe a class of 60, you'll find one Canadian, one German, two, one Indian, one Pakistani. Mm. So, there, you know, the beyond the classroom teaching, yes. it is basically peer group. When they understand, you know, their economic condition of the country, the political system of the country, yeah. their business models, their ethical practices, their religious practices. Mm. So this develops in the overall human being. Right, right. So Sharda has been, you know, conceptualized on the way, uh, on the basis of that it has to come up maybe 10 years, 20 years down the line, one of the top universities in the Asia. So sir, that is the entire vision of the Sharda University. But specifically, what is the mission of the Sharda School of Engineering and Technology? I don't think that India can ever be a developed nation unless until we create our own technology, own innovation. So Sharda is vision to create, you know, a university where, you know, the students apply and create the new technology. So this is what I was telling you about, you know, bringing the best of the teacher from outside country, either Indian or European. So they, they are, you know, they, the, the way they teach, the way, you know, they nurture the student, the way, you know, they address the students, that basically changing the mindset. So, you know, on daily basis, we are being getting an input from industries, we are getting from industry input from the, you know, faculty which is coming from outside India. Mm -hmm. okay, this is what being taught in America, this is what is taught in Canada. So then they sit together, then we, we emerge a new idea which suits the Indian economy, which suits the Indian sciences, which suits the Indian technology. So, sir, I've been hearing a lot about the international connections and the international students that you have on campus. Could you elaborate a little bit more on that, the, but the international students? we student have also. around uh, 1,200 students from 34 countries. This comes around 10% uh, of the total, you know, the almost 12% of the total student population. We have the faculty, which is almost 20%, who either been Europeans, Americans, or else Indians who has been been in the US for five years, ten years. We have already made a collaboration with more than 60 universities across the world. Okay. So a lot of research has been going on mm -hmm. in the collaborations. Mm -hmm. So end result will be the Sharda will emerge as a global destination. Thank you so much, sir. It was great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. So now let's go to the international students and see what they have to say about their experience at the Sharda University. Uh, when I come to Sharda, I don't know how to speak English and how to write. But now I able to study, uh, I able to write and speak English than on that time. And uh, also I like the place of Sharda and uh, also the member of uh, school language is kind and um, friendly with students. My experience so far about this place is um, I've learned a lot of stuff, um, including my particles um, and uh, they've given me the opportunity to to learn, my expertise has improved since I came here. And I'm so when I go back to Gambia, I'm going to help my country a lot. I came to Sharda University in Great Noida in uh, India one year. Uh, I think this is uh, this is my incredible uh, experience in India. It's very good. I can make so many friends in uh, all over the world. Once I came here, I realized it's very diverse huge campus, great faculty, a lot of facilities are available, you can go to the gym, there's food available everywhere, different international students are there, 
So it was a very good experience for me. I, I look forward to my last year here. My experience over here, I spend, uh, I've spent two years already here. I got a good experience in Chicago University because when I can talk about my experience, I can talk, I can just try to compare it with my previous university. Here in Chicago University, I can get everything I want. So that was very enlightening to get a genuine insight from the students about the faculty of the Sharda University. Now the Sharda University is considered to have a large number of faculty which includes PhDs and doctors. Let's go to the faculty department itself and find out what they have to say. So far the academics is concerned, recently we have aligned our curriculum based on the guidelines by Accreditation Board of Engineering and Technology USA and which highly emphasizes on program outcome and course outcomes. We have a flexible credit system where a student has flexibility to choose the courses out of the availability. availability. So there is a lot of flexibility in choosing the courses by the students. The students, they are placed in different companies and uh, out of uh, 550 students, those who have applied for placement, we are able to place 400 students. They are in uh, big companies like JSS Hydraulics through any turbines and DT computers and uh, Bosch and in so many in other companies. Now I am with some hand-picked students of the Sharda University and since interacting with the students is my favorite part of the show, I am going to have a long interaction with them. I have been hearing a lot about the faculty so let's start with that. Tell me something about the faculty of Sharda University. Sharda's faculty is pretty diverse. We have fac uh, professors from IIT, BHUs, NITs, also foreign faculty and uh, with them interacting is fun they provide us with different experiences as well as quality education great and could you tell me something about the academic of the university uh, the academic sections of uh, Sharda University consists of uh, regular classroom courses classroom courses means uh, teachers come and give lectures and all and uh, for the uh, for for our preparation for uh, for final exams, continuous assessments and assignments and quizzes have been taken, and we get a very good knowledge about our subjects and courses. So I've been hearing a lot about industries which come here for workshops and seminars and stuff. So could someone tell me a little bit about the industries? Yeah, you? sure. Like uh, our university has divided the companies basically branch-wise. Like I am from computer sciences, so there are many different industries like IBM, Google and uh, Microsoft which keep coming to our campuses for different seminars and recruitments. Others like for electricals we have LNT, NTPC and for mechanical we have Yamaha, Maruti Suzuki. So there are many companies which are recruiting in Sharda these days. So we've heard a lot about academics and infrastructure and, and faculty. So uh, going away from the serious discussion now, I need to know something a little bit about the lighter side. What do you have in your co-curricular activities here? Let's hear it from you. Life here in Sharda is pretty exciting, no doubt in that, for sure. And we have a huge campus out here. And there is no doubt we have different sports, indoor sports as well as outdoor sports. We have basketball court out here, we have badminton court, then we have our different other games like, ba like football, football and other stuff also. For indoor sports also we have chess, carom and stuff like that. We have various other food junctions also like Nescafe and Buddies and CDX also for where we can like hang out. And this is a good place to be, no doubt. Like everybody say world is here, no doubt in that. Thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. Thank you for joining me on the show. See you soon next time. Bye. Creative mindsets, winning attitudes, passion for achievement apart from good academic performance are just some of the qualities that you will find on these campuses. Hi, I'm Sukhpani Sadana and welcome to a brand new episode of the Shining Engineering Colleges of India. Today, I'm with the Sharda Group of Institutions, a place where all talent meets all expectations. So let's start by having a look at the campus. The Sharada Group of Institutions or SGI offers engineering courses in Agra and Mathura through its three campuses, namely Hindustan College of Science and Technology, Anand Engineering College and Hindustan Institute of Technology and Management. 
SGI aims to act as a platform for students to achieve all-round development through its comprehensive curriculums, research and developmental programs, workshops with industry experts and communication and soft skills classes. In this college, the students are trained not just to become engineers tomorrow, but also to contribute to the world that they live in. Where they take the smallest of idea and turn that into something grand, so as to contribute to the society and the environment that they live in. Let's go and see what the projects are all about. Basically, this project is about production of diesel, petrol and ATF, that are petrochemicals from polythene and plastic waste. We, uh, in India, the production of, the consumption of polythene is about 8 million ton per annum and about 70% of that plastic is wasted. There is no uses of that plastic and we are using that plastic in a good manner so that we can convert that plastic into uh, fuels. Last year we held an innovation day in a college. It is basically when uh, we celebrate Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam birthday in uh, 15th, uh, 15th of October here in a college. Uh, this, uh, this innovation day, various projects coming out from the various colleges of this region. Uh, about There was about 250 projects in that competition and we won first, uh, first prize in that is a privileged point of view have we got first prize in, prize in that competition here we are producing the biomethane from the peta waste basically the production of peta waste in agra about 18 ton per per day it is a throw in the corner of the yamuna and it is the waste for the agra and it causes the environment pollution and causes the air pollution which damage the ta surface of the taj so we are using this peta for the production for the useful purpose and the production of biomethane which is used for the cooking purpose and mixed with the natural grid, natural grid pipeline from which the natural gas is flowing. It enhances the percentage of methane which is the main factor of the natural gas. Here we are using the process of fermentation, anaerobic digestion in which we put the, we take the peta waste, two third of the peta waste and one third of the cow dung. Cow, basically we are using cow dung for the production of methane bacteria which is responsible for the methane production. It's time for me to go to the faculty and see what's in store there. We sincerely believe in developing our students as uh, thinking and performing professionals of their domain as well as good human beings so that they succeed in their career and enjoy their lives. So we have special development programs besides academics which develops their knowledge. We have a institute industry interface program to develop their skills and application capabilities in their particular domains as well as to develop them as good socially skilled and emotionally mature individuals. We have a training and development program uh, which helps them to explore their st strong and weak points, uh, develop their interpersonal communication skills, decision making abilities, team working abilities and overall emotional maturity. Naturally because of this development students are industry ready as well as meet the expectations of the employers. Uh, therefore, employers are happy coming to our campuses. We get more than 300 companies every year. Teaching learning process of our institute is very unique in which we give emphasis apart from the normal teaching process on the practicals, technical skills enhancement program, which are a must for an engineer to be more employable. We wish that our students should be the global players. For that, we give more emphasis on the technical skills enhancement program. We have got associations with IBM. IBM has put a center of excellence in our institute. We have got SAP University Alliance with us. We have institutional membership of NHRDN, IEEE, and many other institutions. There is a perceptible shift from memory-based and rote-based learning of your to a more holistic learning today. At Sharda, the focus is on the subject matter as well as interaction with the industry and all around personality development. That's what the training and development department does through their own programs. Most of our faculty members are the students are engaged in research activities and we keep on organizing number of conferences, doctor conferences, we have even a very huge amount for the research work. We at Sarda 
try to develop the entrepreneurship skills among the students. We have a social entrepreneurship lab where the students come along with the ideas and they work under the leadership of the faculty members. They try to solve even the problem of the local city, Agra and Mathura. In Anand Engineer College, we take care of the overall personality development of the students and it is only possible through so many other extracurricular activities and co-curricular activities. Particularly in terms of extracurricular activities, we organize different cultural programs as well as different competitions in sports and games. So we are having a very big uh, complex stadium of international standard and I probably think that in any other engineering colleges in North India or entire India, you will not find a stadium where we support all the sports and games related activities of the students. So, while I was walking around in campus, I got lucky to catch hold of some of the students of this university who are now with me. Hello everyone. Hello ma'am. So, uh, I believe there are a lot of industries and brands which come to your institute to give you seminars and workshops, right? Okay, so could someone tell me about a little bit about the industrial relationships that you guys have? We, the college has hired uh, the HRs, the people who have the experience of the corporate and they provide us training from the uh, first year itself to the final year. We are given training in the communication field and uh, many like seminars, workshops, lectures are attended and people from outside the college campus come with experience and they share the experience, give us some, some ideas. College calls some of the prestigious companies like Tata Consultancy Services, LNT, Infosys and many companies visit the college. So some of the students were telling me that the faculty here is outstanding and you guys consider yourself very lucky to have these people here. The faculty here is really experienced and uh, highly educated. They are very supportive, cooperative and they are available to us whenever we need them. They not only teach us academic but also help in our grooming, our grooming and brushing up our personality and overall development. So now could someone tell me a little bit about the fun part of, of what happens on campus? I mean, definitely our campus is very fun loving uh, apart from the acad academics we have various activities going around in our campus uh, we do have a cultural department which looks after the various skits drama rock band and all and apart from these um, we have we do have the yoga classes also apart from that we do have a sports complex a sports department uh, which uh, emphasizes on our physical fitness and all there are many extracurricular activities and we do have cultural fest and technical fest and also an innovation day for it which uh, uh, give chance to students to show their uh, technical skills they create and develop ideas regarding um, several projects they make projects like uh, they have robo race and uh, in fact me to have a project on wireless overheat control unit and there is a technical fest also which held in once a, uh, once a year that is Sukrut and there we have uh, several competition like debate competition and uh, research paper presentation, powerpoint presentation these all s skills are needed for our overall development. So this overall developed institute I mean you guys seem to be like really proud students here right? Yes. I, and I really want to come back for the robot race I have to say that. Thank you so much. So I had a wonderful day spent at the Sharda group of institutions and I will see you soon next time.